final video for Monday, but maybe not. It's always something that come up. <laughs> it's always something that come up. Um, so you never, I mean, I've definitely had this video for Monday, but the lineup might look totally different between Sunday, um, going into Monday. Shit, morning, always, Sunday afternoon, morning, I always find something different. So, um, but let's talk about it. Yeah, I know the Raiders play the Lions on Monday night. I just like Raider gear. And I need some more Lion hats because they all like, ugh, they all beat down. But I'm more of a favorite color is black. So you always catch me in dark colors. I try to switch it up a little bit when it get cool, when it get warmer. But I'm just love black. All right, but uh, you damn near, it go with everything. He's like with Frank's red hot sauce. I put that shit on everything, and I'm going the wrong way from where I should be going. Um, most definitely, so I have to make a turn. But uh, but yeah, basically Frank Warren said Fury ain't gonna be ready. Um, Barbara, shout out to Barbara Troy. She sent me. He said January, February. I, I read somewhere he said they got up to until April or the end of March. I think before Ramadan pop off. So uh, yeah, they got up until March to make this fight happen. Now Anthony Joshua was saying that this fight can happen. I think he was saying like in April. I'm, I'm guessing right before Ramadan, it can happen in April with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder on the undercard. So. And Fury was saying that Usyk had to fight December 23rd. That's the great date they agreed to. Now, he had a tough fight. He suffered a little cut, but apparently he 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 he, he had a tougher fight than he expected versus Francis Ngannou. Now, also, what this works in Usyk's favor is because Usyk got injuries that he ain't healed from. He said it out his own mouth in an interview on boxing scene I read. So he'd get some more time to heal. He said he'd been training every day, so he gets some more time to heal and fall back and, and get healthy. So this fight might be closer to the March, probably Marches, you know. So now Eddie Hearn is a happy camper because Eddie Hearn gets to put on Chris Eubanks and Connor Ben December 23rd. So it's all kind of working out in Eddie's uh, plans. And obviously a lot of people saying they can't believe what they saw with Francis Ngannou. Now, Mike Tyson said he never would have got involved until he seen T Francis Ngannou spar, and he was like, damn, he's pretty good. So, obviously, Ngannou showed that he's an elite striker. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's a lot of anti-MMA guys in boxing. It's okay to support both. It's, you know, they ain't got to be like Magneto versus Professor Xavier's X-Men and Brotherhood versus... It ain't got to be like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be... You can support both. You know, like, I be telling people, I had a conversation with somebody. I said, you could be conservative on one thing, and you can be liberal on something else. You know what I'm saying? You can have conservative values on, you know, what's, you know, what's put in school. You know, what they put in school. You want textbooks, you want throwback school, but you could be liberal about technology, laws on technology and stuff. So, you got a lot of people who just feel like they got to box them in the category. It could be two rights, it could be two wrongs, it could be two evils, it could be two heroes. Don't forget that. And that and that's life. Don't let them box you into a category. You don't have to. And a lot of these movies condition you to believe it's a hero. It's got to be one strong villain. It can't be two strong villains. It's got to be one hero. It can't be two hero. Who got to be the lead? Um, I don't even know where I left off at. Some gas station popping off shit, but... uh. But yeah, man, like I continue to say, uh, now they talk about, you know, it might be closer to Marches or Aprilish. I don't know when Ramadan technically started in 2024, but um, like I said, Tyson Fury is very inconsistent, bro. And all he said that stuff, and he struggled with guys that's shorter than him that he can't see the punches. But he sat there and he dogged out Usyk to had to be the December 23rd or nothing and all this stuff. You didn't even come to perform. And I told you that's one of the reasons I got Usyk winning because he can't see, he don't fight shorter fighters well. He can't see the punches. And the way U Usyk pop up and down, you know, he faint up and down, especially if he can create cut, a cut on Tyson Fury, that's going to be a problem. And, you know, and Ganu stabbing to the body and then coming up tight, he couldn't see it coming, bro. I keep telling y'all. He couldn't see it coming. He couldn't see it coming. You know, had Ngannou jab more up top into the, the solar plex a little bit more, then came over the top, he probably would have knocked Fury out, especially with them good body blows he was throwing. But like I said, Fury the wrong person to put in the exhibition fight, Fury the wrong, wrong person to count on to be 
um, consistent. He's the wrong person, bro. He's very, very inconsistent in his attack and his performances. You don't know what you're going to get from him. You don't know where he is mentally in some of these performances or something like that. But, I mean, pushing it back, it is what it is. It benefit Usyk to heal up. It benefit Fury to, uh, to heal up. And, I mean, shit, you know, we tired of waiting for big fights, but it is what it is. It seemed like the last big fight weekend is everybody piling up on December 9th. When you had a 16th and the 23rd right before Christmas where they could spread this shit out. And y'all ask, what's the problem with boxing? That's the fucking problem with boxing. One of the, I talked about inactivities and everything. That's one of the big problems. They talking about they don't see a pure white Hennessy in, uh, in the United States. And they got a whole sign right there. I told you, like, I don't drink this shit, but... I told y'all that I done seen people drinking and having at their cribs. Flame on to produce one in Puerto Rico, man. In Detroit, we got everything. The big face race said we got snow. We got snow. We got blood. We got <laughs> Uh but uh Well yeah, man. I mean it, I mean I ain't really tripping on it, man. That, that December looked pretty nice for boxing. And I will say it's pretty empty with without PBC and they fights because with uh the zone the zone is was carrying the boxing schedule into the uh the fall into the winter that's who's carrying the boxing schedule it's the zone so uh you can tell <laughs> you can tell they're literally carrying the boxing in, into the winter. So, you know, top rank ain't got too many shows. Whatever reason that is, the only thing I can think of about Shakira Stevenson, they got FN job play fight. Who get who gets a hell about that? The motherfucker need to go back to being a chef or a cook, whatever he said he practiced. So it ain't really much to talk about. You know, you look and you think about the difference. You think about PBC, Showtime leaving PBC. Look at Top Rank. They ain't ESPN. They ain't committed to a lot of shows in the fall. And this is usually uh, boxing's most, you know, biggest time period. This is their biggest time period. Where they put on all the great fights. And, you know, you look at it. You know, where's the great fights? Where's the great fights? So, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. So, um, but you know, with him not being ready, I mean, push another fight back to 2024. Don't know what's gonna happen with Al Heyman PBC fights and kind of. You know where are they going at them at, at them with uh, where are they going with they fights at? So, uh, so it's a lot of questions to be to be answered and shit. It's a tremendous amount of questions to be answered, man. About where this boxing thing going? I mean, I don't have a network. You know, Rick Larry said he will eventually find one. I feel the same way, but uh, but um, well, fear it is what it is. That's one person. That that's just erratic in his performances and just so up and down in his performances, it, it just don't make it just it just don't make no sense. There's no consistency, none whatsoever. No consistency, none. So if he end up being more consistent. Then, uh, I think that, uh, he'll be, I mean, I think he'll be all right, but, you know, he'll come around and turn a performance like that versus Francis Ngannou, and then come out looking like Muhammad Ali versus, uh, Alexander Usyk. That's just who he is as a fighter. And I presume he get up for some fights and some other fights he don't get up for. That's what I presume it is. You know, and boxing is what have you done for me lately? And my Janet Jackson voice, they said, What have you done for me lately type sport? You know, that's what it is. They said, This place right here going out of business. I never noticed it was open. 
<laughs> not being funny, I just never did. But, uh, but yeah, man, so it is what it is. If I get pushed back, you know, you, you expect something to get canceled. And that was gonna pretty much uh, kind of top off, pause 2020, uh, 23. I mean, I know you got a new UI fighting uh, late December. I know you got him fighting late in December, but that was pretty much gonna be it right there. So, pretty much you got Connor Van and Chris Eubanks, um, them trying to do it again, pause. And um, undisputed with Marlon Tappas taking on now you a new UA, they gonna try to um, get it in. So, um, pause. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see. So that's pretty much gonna close out the schedule, man. And, uh, uh, so Fury, you know, Usyk might, you know, basically kick off 2023, depending on what happens. But uh, yeah, man, uh, let me know what your girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button it is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live, word drop video financially. <clears throat> Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign CJ Good Three One Three. Memo CJ Good Three One Three. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.